Hello friends, welcome back to another tutorial. Here I am going to discuss a very popular name reaction that is Bumford Stevens reaction. And here all this point I cover step by step. The Bumford Stevens reaction is a chemical reaction where by the treatment of tocyl hydrogens with mild basic condition or sometimes a strong base can be used to give alkenes that is this one is the tocyl hydrogen and after treatment with base and here it is used as a mild basic condition so most commonly used sodium methoxide sodium hydride or sodium amide and finally this tocyl hydrogen is converted to alkene this type of product so this is a very well known reaction where tocyl hydrogen is converted to alkene by presence of some mild basic condition actually this reaction is performed in two steps where the intermediate diazo compound may be isolated and that's why finally reaction proceed through the protic solvent or aprotic solvent which strongly influence the outcome of the reaction now what is the mechanism of this reaction that is here this one is tocyl hydrogen and in presence of sodium methoxide the base can take this proton because this proton is more acidic this is more acidic hydrogen due to presence of heteroatom and which is electronegative element and that's why it will take this hydrogen and we get this system that is negative charge located on nitrogen atom and after after conjugation it will form this one now lone pair will pull here and tocyl group go away from this system and finally we get this type of system and this is the intermediate of Bumford Stevens reaction. And after the formation of this intermediate, if we use protic solvent that is methanol, then what happens? This negative charge protonated. So it will form this one. And finally, nitrogen removed from this system to form carbocation. And this hydrogen undergo elimination reaction to give finally alkene product. And on the other hand, if we use aprotic solvent, so there is no scope to protonation of this negative charge. So here, just leave as a nitrogen gas. And it will give carbene-like structure. And finally, hydride migration here and flowed by negative charge push here to get this alkene. So both the two cases we will get alkene but in one cases it goes through carbocation intermediate and for other cases it goes through carbene intermediate. So this is the mechanism of Bumford Stevens reaction. Now we will solve a very interesting problem that is this one. When this hydrogen treatment with sodium methoxide followed by ethylene glycol, what will be the product? And this is the application of Bumford Stevens reaction. 
this hydrogen is acidic in nature due to present of hetero atom so base takes this proton to give this one the mechanism is like that that is here negative charge falls here and negative charge generated here and lone pair on nitrogen atom falls here and tocyl group eliminated from this system so we get this one after treatment with ethylene glycol this negative charge just protonated to give this one and finally nitrogen remove to produce a carbocation and this is 2 degree carbocation and finally cyclization to give this one and this is 3 degree carbocation so this is more stable and here one more thing that is three member ring is more steric crowding more strain and but for four member ring it is something reduced that is the ring strain is somewhat less after elimination reaction it will form this alkene so this is the final product of this at problem. last a small request to you if you have not subscribed to my channel till now so please subscribe right now if you find this video useful then please share with your friends and click the like button below for more videos click on the subscribe button thanks for watching have a nice day